Hey guys, this is the Electric Gord, and with me I have um, Ninja Zero, one of my friends, and wherever, oh, wherever Metal Maniac went. Oh, right behind me. Okay, what's up, buddy? Anyway, uh, we're doing a video on um, Halo Reach melee tips and tricks and tactics and stuff like that. So right now we all have energy swords, pretty much the awesomest melee weapon there is. I'll just wherever Bryson went, there he is. Okay, Ninja Zero, you're gonna be my target. Guess what? You're gonna get sliced like that. So when your reticle goes red, um, it means you can lunge them. So you get a little bit more range. Here, um, Mel May just lunge me. Just show. So you got an extra like ten feet that you can jump forward at me, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of handy when you have a sword. Uh, you get much farther melee range than anything else. Um, so I'll also include the plasma pistol. Yeah, that wasn't planned, dude. <laughs> uh, include the plasma pistol because um, it's you know it's a pretty good weapon for if you're trying to melee. Um, you know, if you can over by holding the trigger, you can overcharge it. You can get a little lock on thing. You fire it. Um, and next time that your opponent is shields, you can just simply walk up to them and punch them, and they're down really fast. Yeah. Anyway, um, using using structures for melee tactics. Um, Bryson, why don't you go up on top of that building up there? Right up there. Run up there. Yeah, up there. There you are. Okay. So, um, you just wait up there while I'll be demonstrating something else. Uh, also, something you need to reach is something called the assassination. Here, uh, Dakota, just stand still. Okay? Don't move at all. Go up behind somebody. Um, and hit your melee button, hold it down for a longer time than usual. Um, you hit them first, and then you do the whole melee assassination. Or you do something epic with a combat knife, basically. Okay, so there we go, Bryson's up there. Um, one thing, particularly in maps like this, Bryson's going to be coming up by the stairs on, well, on, I don't know, this side. You see me? It is uh, climbing down, coming down from above, but they don't see ya. This case is not working because he doesn't see me either. So, um, if you take my six, he, how he's just he's distracted with Dakota, I can just go up behind him and once again assassinate him because it's kind of cool like that. Meanwhile, Dakota here just got gypped up his kill. He doesn't like that. It doesn't make him very happy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, anyway, so those are some tactics we can use. There we got. Swords. Oh, how about let's go to should you go gravity hammers and bolters and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Here, Dakota, I'm gonna give you a shotgun. Use it well. <laughs> nice. Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, even when it was a sword assassination, which is a little bit different than most assassinations, you actually use your sword. Yeah. Where Where are you, Dakota? There you are. Okay. I'm gonna drop you a shotgun. Just hang on a second. I put the spawn time really quick here. Okay. Pick that up, will ya? Alright, uh, well the sword, one of the disadvantages is that it can be bolt-trued, as it's called. Because I'm going to lunge you, try bolt me if you can. Ready? Like that. <laughs> Let's go get the horns. Um, anyway, yeah, when you're mid, you didn't get the, you, di you didn't get it? I saw it. Huh. Well, anyway, when you stop somebody mid-lunge with a sword, um, usually using a shotgun, that's a preferred weapon, um, you get the bolt shoe metal. Um, in Halo Reach, the um, sword is rather weak compared to other melee weapons, like, for example, the gravity hammer. Um, I need two to stand to get clo kind of close together. The gravity hammer uh, also can be used against more than one target at a time, which could be really nice. Okay, both of you go stand next to each other so I can hit you both with one swing. Okay. Um, sometimes, if <laughs> you get things just right, go to move a little closer. See two guys really close to each other, you can come with one hammer swing. And, well, that didn't work because Bryson was a chicken and ran. But I also bolted him, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, the hammer has a slightly farther range than the um, sword does. I'm about to come with the shotgun. And it also has some splash damage, which is kind of nice. Well, like I say, um, yeah, it's a little bit. Is it, you know, is it weaker or stronger than it is in other Halos? I'm not sure. But it's still weaker? Okay. It's still a pretty awesome weapon. 
Um, yeah. So what else do we have? What else can we start talking about for on topic of meleeing? Oh, I guess camping is a great one. <laughs> nah, we're not that we're not that noobish. Oh yeah, the sword also, also the sword. Uh, we can't see it here, but if we use a sword um, on actual terrain, when you're on a single player mode, no split screen, it actually leaves a mark. On it, it looks pretty awesome. But stuff that's reforging doesn't just because it can get too complicated and would overload the physics system. Oh, let's see, this is like I'm parrying. Here, let me shield recharge. Here, Dakota, get, get your sword out. Dakota, get your sword. Okay, let's parry this one. With swords, um, one thing you can do is you can pull the trigger while your opponent is rushing, you end up parrying them, in which case you each lose some of your shields. Ready? Go. Ah, that just did not work. Usually they work better when they're not run over live like we are, but, uh, oh, I haven't seen it go that bad. Nice. Okay, let's go. Let's try that powering thing once more. One more time. Ready? There we go. And get our shields down pretty quick. That one was a little bit slow in the draw, so he got me. But a lot of times, I have to have two guys who know who have it really figured out. They end up just parrying and parrying until they both fall over dead. Kind of annoying and stupid. In more than one way. <laughs> Down to a 20 plus grenades there, Dakota? Yeah, so I saw it. His body isn't there, you know. I see, you don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, I think that's about it for this video. What do you think, guys? So, yeah, that's about it. Well, uh, this has been the Electric Gordon. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe if you like them. Uh, otherwise, then don't click the dislike button. Adios.